All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another First Reviews reaction video with your boy, Gore. That's me. And I'm here to take a look at the first reviews for Triangle Strategy, which comes out tomorrow, of course, uh, which I'm very excited about. I am. But I might have to skip it for now. Just got too many games. And I know me, like, once I start getting new games, I start pushing the other ones away. Still have to finish Pokemon Legends Arceus. Still have to finish uh, Horizon. Still have to finish Elden Ring, which <laughs> we'll see um fingers crossed i actually just started shadow warrior 3 which i the only reason why i started is because i know it was really short so i'm already like halfway through that game um but uh, this is gonna be another long game and another challenging one like elden ring uh maybe not as hard as elden ring but it's gonna still be pretty tough i assume uh if it's anything like other tactics games anyway i love that title by the way i'm so glad they kept it so i'm expecting great reviews like this is like one of those games where like I don't expect anything less than like a like an eight point five, maybe an eight. So I think it's going to be a really good or great game. Uh, so I'm going to yeah, I'm going to say straight up eighty five. Actually, I'm going to be a little bit higher than that because I said eight or eight point five. I'm going to say straight up average is at eight eighty five. So eight point five. Uh, that's my guess. So let's get to it. I'm going to try to make this one a little bit quicker. I want I want to make these first reviews for the I guess the lesser things. Not that this is lesser, but like popularity wise, a little quicker. So let's go. Okay. I'll go. Ooh, look at Gran Turismo score. Ooh, cars. That's Batman. Uh, all right, 83. That's about where I expected. 41 reviews. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, pretty good. Wait. Uh, you know what? We'll look at it later. I'm not even going to say what I want to look at. We'll, we'll look at it after. So if you want to know what I'm thinking about, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. All right, so no 10s, surprisingly, but 9.5, 9.5, 9, 9, 9, a bunch of 9s. Yeah, a lot of 9s. Any Easy Allies review? I don't know if they did one. I didn't get a, uh, an email about them posting. No? I want 5, whoa. Uh, Triangle Strategy delivers smart tactics, but battles play second fiddle to its dull political lore. Okay, that sucks. Not a fan of the story, kind of. Uh, let's do the top review now. Ooh, look at this. Triangle Strategy doesn't reinvent the strategy RPG genre, but polishes it to a to an HD 2D shine. Each facet of the game complements the others, and at every turn I was left waiting with bated breath to see what would happen next. A new game plus mode unlocks after rolling credits, making it all e the easier to dive back in and uncover paths you yet un un untrod. Okay, I was gonna read that read that as untold, but that makes sense too. And the second I had completed one route, I felt that overwhelming rush to see what I had missed. The grind style turn based combat lives up to the best of its predecessors while it may lack the customizability of a job system. It doesn't have a job system? I mean, to be fair, I, I've been cry trying to stay clear of this game completely. I even played the demo. Um, I just didn't want to, so I didn't know there was no job system. The cavalcade of recruitable party members is a worthy replacement. Okay. Whether you're in it for the story, the gameplay, or the aesthetics, uh, the total package is one for the ages, and from my from any angle, the strategy is clear. Adds triangle strategy to your Switch library. Maybe tell friends. Oh my god, I'm not gonna buy this game tomorrow. Maybe tell friends and family to end their turn. Or, hey, you're going to be busy for a while. That sounds like a threat. End your turn. <laughs> end it. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, let's do a, a nine out of ten. Just a regular nine out of ten. Digitally downloaded, sure. Uh, on the surface, Triangle Strategy seems like a straightforward and even no-frills homage to the tactics of JRPGs of yesteryear. It has clearly been developed to tap into the same qualities that made Final Fantasy Tactics such a beloved classic for so many years, but there's more to it than that. With the tone and structure of a historical epic, Triangle Strategy is much denser and more demanding of its players than many might go into expecting. No, I'm expecting it to fuck me up. Engage with it on that level, however, and it's one of the finest examples of genre I've ever find. Okay, cool. Massive replay value. I just saw that. Uh, let's go to an eight. A real treat for strategy lovers with very well-designed combats, interesting additions such as the voting system are appreciated as well as the decisions and the different endings, which provide a lot of replayability. Okay, I didn't know about the voting system. Again, I didn't really know a lot about this. I heard about it. I saw it. And I think I saw the first trailer and I, when it was just called Project Stra uh, Triangle Strategy. And I kind of, I didn't want to know anything else. I kind of wanted to go into this blind, honestly. Um, but now I'm reading reviews, so that's not helping. Uh, let's do a, let's do a seven. I'm interested in a seven. Uh, try, well, I guess I read, no, it was a five. Never mind. Triangle Strategy feels like, oops, all expo exposition. 
oops, all berries. And while I did find myself enjoying it at times, I found myself glazing over far too often. Yeah, it's clearly got a big story to tell, but at the expense of all the other gameplay, it ends up feeling more like a visual novel with some combat encounters, so it can, so it can technically be called a game. I have no doubt people will find something to enjoy here, but speaking for myself as someone who genuinely likes turn-based strategy games, I've had to really push myself to enjoy it, and I don't know how many people will. Okay, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. If you really weren't into the story and it's just focusing mainly on story, then triangle strategy is a great strat strategic battler meshed with devilish politicking and weighty decisions. It's just a shame the cast of characters never get a chance to shine just as bright. Okay, that's a little upsetting. It's it, when a title likes triangle strategy, you weren't. You, at least I'm not expecting a deep story. You know, like a, a good story, sure, but not a deep one. All right, you know, let's go on to uh, open critic. I did want to make this one shorter, so. Real quick, let's go to Open Critic. Let's go to Open Critic. Uh, oh no, Chocobo GP 69. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Anyway, 81 though. A little bit lower. Wow, let's see. 7. All right. Okay. God is a geek, gave it 8.5. All right, all right, all right. Um, GameSpot gave it a 7. Triangle Strategy strips away some of the Final Fantasy tactic systems while adding extra nuances of its own to make a unique homage. Okay. Uh, a fantastic deep adventure with only a few little issues that hold it back from true greatness. Okay, Triangle Strategy knows how to tell an exciting story, and that's that's its greatest asset. The strategy mechanics are unfortunately inferior to the great classics, classics from which it takes inspiration, but the great replay replayability should keep you glued to the Switch screen for a long time. Okay, all right. So it seems like some people are, are a little iffy on the story and the gameplay, but it's like, it varies. You know, some people like the story and then find the gameplay meh, or they really like the gameplay, but the story is like a little too in your face, I guess, and doesn't, doesn't stop. I like it still says project, by the way. I don't care. Uh, uh, excuse me. You're gonna, I'm offended. It's not projects. It's just triangle strategy. Get it right, please. Um, I do want to go back and, uh, look at this real quick. The musical store. What is this? 85 though i think i saw this on the actually yeah i think i saw this on the um on the switch page on the uh i'm sorry not the switch page the uh switch uh store you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it because i i know it's good now thank you all right so the game i wanted to look up earlier so you know let's take this off real quick yeah let's just open both pages up so we can flip back and forth the game I wanted to look up because it came out today is Babylon's Fall. There it is. Let's go to PC. Zero reviews. How about PS4? Zero reviews. How about PS5? Oh, oh, it's got a positive. Eight out of ten. And then has a one review that's not done yet. Okay. There's a positive review. I I just expect the worst for this game. You know what? Actually, I'm not even gonna read that review. I'm just going to look up Babylon's Fall right now. See what's happening. All right. I watched this video right here. He did not like it. But I've been expecting the worst for this. Babylon's Fall review. Here we go. Thank God this wasn't Dragon Guard 4. Well, was that supposed to be... Was it supposed to be Dragon Guard 4? Babylon's Fall is boring as fuck and puts me to sleep. Here's why. You can just show some gameplay. I'm sure people will understand. Let's, uh... God, I wish I was playing Elden Ring. <laughs> the balls for them to release this game right after Elden Ring? Jesus Christ. Good Lord. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until I know there's more reviews out there, and then we'll do a, a video for this. So, anyway, there you go. That's that. That is, uh... You know, let me bring back Triangle Strategy, I guess, for now. Um, that's Triangle Strategy. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and, uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.